Okay. Hey everyone. Um, I was just going around on the free to play on Steam, and I found this game called You Will Not Remain, and it looks kind of cool. The art style looks fun, so I figured I'd play it. Um, I believe this is a point and click. This is a story about isolation that contains dark themes and detail- or oh, I can't read- and deals with mental health issues. These include, but are not limited to, anxiety, depression, dissociation, and suicidal intent- I- I- Okay. Okay, um, let's play it I guess. It's a short game intended to be played in one sitting. There's no statement. Okay. Ugh. So I guess... Interesting. It's time to wake up. How am I... I guess I don't know what I'm doing. Again, how many more agains will you have? How long have you been here? Does it matter? I'm trying to figure out if I'm playing with the controller or if I'm playing with the... Oh, I am! I get to play with the controller! Nice! The leaves are drooping and you should water it. You fill the watering can and take it to the plant. You soak the base, hoping it's both enough and not too much at the same time. <coughs> You've never been good with plants, and sometimes trying too hard is what kills them. Uh, see, that's the same problem I have with plants, because I would never know how much water to put, and if you put too much, you kill it, you know? Um... Hmm. It's like the controls want to work sometimes, but not all the time. You still have plenty of grounds. An instant when you're desperate. You haven't even gone through all the apartments on this floor. Making it as much ritual as it is comfort. You cradle the cup in your hands, warmth seeping into your fingertips. It grows cold as you stare into the sink, the ceiling. And the strange shape in your hand to make around the porcelain. You pour it down the sink, wash the cup, before putting it away. Maybe tomorrow will be easier. Man, I feel that. Well, channel after channel of nothing. That's a vibe. What is it? What's this thing? Can I not interact with it? Or, no? Okay. I can't tell if that's like a wall TV or if it's a window. Or maybe an aquarium of some sort. Ooh, pretty. Um, is it getting bigger or was it always that size? If you were prone to poetry, you'd almost say it was as beautiful as a fantastic fatalistic sort of way in a fatalistic sort of way but you're not haven't been the same time haven't been for some time I'm so sorry I can't read for some reason today um you've run out of pretty metaphors for awful things I'm sure a lot of writers can understand that how do we get back down maybe this way Am I s oh, I was about to say. Um, there's not a much else to do. You could walk circles around the apartment, or you could go back to bed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I have a pet. Is that a dog? Impossible. It's been weeks since you've been stuck here. You would have surely heard it before this. Mm -hmm. 
Is it the plant? What is happening? Ooh. Better go see what it is, just in case. Come on, open the door. You know you can. Can't you? You can do this. Come on. Like, saying the words will help. Just do it. It's wrong. Everything is wrong. You don't belong here. You need to get back inside. It's only down the hall. You can do this. Stairs. What? Why are there lips on the door? Can't interact with that. So I'm assuming anything that's purple is what I can um, click. I guess. Is this a dead end? Oh, I thought this was a door. Where is it? I don't understand. Maybe I went the wrong way. achievement. There's something wrong with this apartment. Is that a dog? But it doesn't look like any dog you've seen before. It's thin, skin stretched, tight across the ribs, long body, all bones are hard angles. Hey, it's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. That's right. Everything is okay. Do you want to come with me? Is that a yes? Whoa! Dog jumps forward before you can react. Brace your- Oh, you brace for pain and instead feel the drag of its tongue across your chin. It pants happily as it tries to lick every inch of your face. It drops to all fours, looking obediently up at you. Tongue lolling out of a mouth, bisected by wickedly sharp teeth. Well, it's this way, I guess. Yeah, come back with me. There's a- oh, is that a fireplace? I'm trying to figure out what that is. I keep seeing it. You're glad to leave. Something is wrong here. A new kind of emptiness. No bed, no chairs, no wife. How did the dog even get here? When the two of you leave, it will be like nothing has ever been here at all. Dog follows you at your heels, nose stiffing, sniffing furiously at the end. <coughs> Just a little further. The dog runs ahead of you, tail wagging so hard it makes a loud thump when it slaps the wall. Glad to see you like it. I mean, technically, didn't we just go in someone else's apartment and steal their dog? Man, its tail kind of looks like the little leaves on the plant, you know? Hmm. I don't know what to do. This is enough excitement for one day. It's time to go to sleep. Bed. <laughs> Aww. I guess you're sleeping with me. Peel back the covers and slide into bed. The dog is a warm, sprawling mass above you, content to be pushed around as you make yourself comfortable. When you've settled into the sheets, it lays its head across your neck, warm metallic breath, wooling. I thought that's 
They said that word earlier and it had a different letter, didn't it? Or not, maybe not, I don't know. You to sleep. Whoa, what happened? You're dreaming again. Mm. I was just about to say that. You remember being worried about her. You don't remember waiting anxiously at the door. You remember how the apartment still smelled of her, her weeks, the sweetness of her perfume lingering in the sheets. You don't smell like her anymore. What's going on with the radio? Ooh. Shit, what did I do? No. Stay. No. off the table you can't complain though not when it saved you from it. right you have a dog now a very strange looking dog let's water the plant you water the plant has it gotten any bigger it's not dead maybe that means something well now we gotta feed him you get in water, then fill the bowl with what's in the fridge. Pa this doesn't make sense. Patience, sausages, and double toasted bread. I hope it's good enough. And you set it down, the dog lunges desperately towards the food. Aww. <laughs> munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Jan ate everything for lunch. <laughs> Uh, it's, what is it? It's eating so fast you can barely see it, Chew. Yeah, that's how they do it. You better not throw that up. You make a coffee, just like every other morning. You cradle a cup in your hands, staring at the walls and the cage of your fingers around the cup until the liquid cools just like every other morning. But this time something is different. The dog is here, looking more at home than you've ever felt. The coffee is cold, but you drink it anyway, bitter all the way down. Are you hungry? You're lucky we don't have any neighbors. And doesn't that sound great? Oh, that's a rug, I thought, <laughs> okay, whoops. Why does my um, table over in the corner look like a triangular cut sandwich? Anyway. Well, you fed the dog. May as well feed yourself. Isn't it mine as well? Not proper English. You cook with whatever you can find. Thankful for the electric stove top. You eat from the pan, standing over the stove. No one's here to judge you. You've already fed the dog. What do they want? What is it? Aww. You want to leave? Okay, you're the boss. It's easier to manage the tear that climbs up the s your spine when the dog is so happy to be outside. Where are we going? Hold your horses! Aww. I tried to go there earlier. Wouldn't let me. You've never been up here. That's... it's... <sighs> you worried if you stare too long you might fall in. The dog stares at you and 
boring, and for a moment it's eyes slash violent. No, you're imagining things. It's just a dog. Throw the ball, message received. I don't know if it's exactly safe to be throwing this at the top of a building, but... Hey. You could almost ignore the lilac glow when you're playing fetch. Forget for a moment that vast, otherworldly thing stretching across the sky. Aww. The dog doesn't seem worried about it. What time is it? Noon? Evening? Probably midday. At least one of them. Maybe even all of them. I guess those are stairs, huh? I don't know. Didn't take you too long to figure out home. The dog looks proud of itself. Okay, then. You're so tired. When was the last time your lungs had tasted fresh air? I can't remember. I'm sorry, I think that's all I have for today. I guess this is my life now. Crawl under the covers. You still haven't washed them. Not since. Dog lays atop of you, heavier than expected seen as its skin and bone. It cuddles into you. Knife on teeth. A whisper from your throat. You can feel its heartbeat through the blankets. The gentle expanding of the chest breath your hand. Dream world again. I wish this was over. yourself. Don't anyone. That isn't already inside. She has to be inside. Maybe already downstairs just in time. Just in time. Okay, I'm up. touch the soil, it's bone dry. It seems like it's always thirsty. A need so deep it couldn't be slugged by an ocean? Slug? You used to know something about need. Now you won't let yourself remember what it is. What it meant means to need anything, blah, let alone want it. Here you go. You're slowly getting used to living with me. Oh, it's living with the dog. How long has it been now? You can't even remember. You should probably name them. First things first. Coffee, you make it, hold the cup until the liquid cools. You look down at it, foreign in your unfamiliar hands. You pour it down the sink. What? You win some, you lose some. What's your name? Can't 
keep calling them dog after all. That's very helpful. Um, how about Rex? Uh, marble? Marble sink? Gas stove. Uh, okay. Shank? Lamb shank? Lamb shank, really? Lamb shank redemption? All right, you're the boss. The newly named Lamb Shank looks absurdly pleased with himself. Fine. Are you going to play fetch? This way. The sky is... whoops. It's there. Don't think about it. <laughs> How long has it been since he became stuck here? you forget other pe what other people look like, the way their skin feels, how the muscles in their back shift when you hold them. Just the thought of touching someone makes your skin crawl. You feel claustrophobic and desperate at the same time. Wrong. That's enough. Time to go back. You should eat something, but maybe you shouldn't. You only ate five minutes ago, right? Or was it five days? Do you think I should eat Loom Shark? Why do I keep saying shark, Shank? Okay, good, call. You cook a meal of whatever you can find and eat it over the stove top. You and Lamshank are used to this dance by now. You settle in together and drift asleep. Not this again. Hey, you can't interact with the radio though. You do anything to wake up, but that isn't how it works. Oh wait, I spoke too soon. Don't look at the sky. The sky? What's wrong with the sky? Okay. What could have possibly happened in the sky? That's... it's... how? It hurts to look at it. It's wrong. Not made for this world. But somehow captivating all at the same. But why? Maybe you're imagining things. It must be. This isn't real. This can't be real. A fever dream, surely. If you go back inside, the world will return to normal. It has to. She'll come home, and everything will be the way it always was. This is your public service announcement. The voice is robotic, clinical, and detached, but the world forever changes. You know, if anyone in comes from outside, for the safety of yourself and others. We repeat, not anyone in the outside. No, our homes are safe as long as we are in them. Do not anyone that returns from the outside. 
We repeat, people from the outside are displaying signs. Predictable. You used to wonder when the power would turn off. You don't wonder about much of anything anymore. It's time to feed Lambshank. You used to go to bed excited for your morning coffee. Now it's just another thing you do. Oh, I was trying to feed them. You fill up the food bowl. You take care of the plant. You don't feel like you're there when you water it. Your hands are unfamiliar, the body unfamiliar, your mind alien even after all this time. You don't. Something about him shifts under the relic sky. Pushing it to be f oh, pushing to be free. He looks hungrier out here. More alien. Let's go back inside then. Amshik has decided it's time for fetch. you think about going outside and being done with it all? Finished. You have lamb shank now. You won't walk down the stairs and pry the boarded doors open, fingernails catching on the wood, and the nails as you claw yourself out. No, you'll stay here. However long that is. Time to go, Lampshane. Time for bed. Huh, that's weird. You can hear something. This is affecting us. Hello? What? Is anyone there? No, you're imagining things. It's not possible. It can't be. Hey, it's okay. I'm okay. Shank's eyes are wide, body trembling above yours, scared. I've never seen him like this before. Did the radio frighten him? Everything feels so fuzzy. You pet Lamb Shank, running fingers down his spine, each vertebrae sharp against them. You're so tired. What should you do? This is your public service announcement. People from the outside, okay. We get it. Um, do not let her in. She will hurt you. Wait, what? Please, let me in. She's here. She's safe. She's... Do not let them in. They will hurt you. So I'm guessing the radio is kind of like a metaphor for her mind in the dream state. Yeah. You're at the door, unable to open it, heart beating so hard you can taste the blood in the back of your throat. You want to let her in, you do, but nothing feels real. Everything feels real. You try to move, to open the door, but your body isn't responding. It's like watching someone else 
You're no longer there. Like you're just watching yourself like someone else would watch you. So are you? Wait, nice. Wait. I don't think you could let her in if you wanted to. Screen starts. You were brutal at this. Oh, and this is what we are doing. I'm up, Lamshank. I'm up. We're up. Ooh, I can go to my closet now. Oh, are we getting dressed for once? Is anything real? Oh, okay, we're just gonna wear the same thing then. I'm not feeding them? That's strange. Is anything real? Water the plant just in case. Is anything real? Real or not, you need to feed Lamb Shank. Who well, didn't love me before? No? Is anything real? You fill up the food bowl. This is real. Does it mean anything? And what's worse? That this isn't real? Or that it is? It means nothing at all. You can't even remember what she looked like, how she smelled. I can't recall how she fit within those spaces. Back the covers and get into bed. You're already half asleep. Tension sections. City is falling. That's enough, William Shank. In the coming months, we will be evacuating any remaining survivors. William Shank, we might be able to leave. Make sure to keep your radio on to see if pick up coordinates. Animals have been... Lamshank? What's wrong? Lamshank looks nervously around the room, flinches at the sound of the radio. We will tell you when it's safe to leave. It's okay. It's gonna be bad. Everything is gonna be okay. So the radio is like, speaking in terms of the world, but I guess it's more so like, or well-being and when it's okay to like let people in again and not worry you get under the covers for the first time Lamshank doesn't join you Later, the radio goes quiet. So does she. Are you 
alone. White noise. Nothing but after the ringing in your head. Somehow the silence is worse than the screaming. You awake slowly. You're used to Liam Shark acting- Liam Shank, fuck, I did it again, shit. Acting as your alarm, all wagging tail and doggy kisses. He's across the room, staring out the balcony door at the sky above. Your dreams always return to her, though each time the memory is fuzzier, worn by time. Was she even- oh. Uh, Something burns in your chest, but you choke it down. Without you, the plant would die. You fill up the bowl, but Lamb Shank doesn't come running. Lamb Shank, full time. He ignores you. Come on, you need to eat. We're leaving today. I need to have cleared the way. No, you can't stomach. Wait, oh, uh, no you can't. Your stomach keeps turning over and over and over, like something is trying to escape alive. You leave it, the cup strangely lonely when filled to the brim. The pickup zone is, it's time to go. Wait, what are you looking at? see this place again. I guess this room is a representation of like the dark place we go when we get, you know, depressed. Is that a good thing? Are we going this way? What does leaving this place mean? What does the world look like outside of these walls, outside of the city? You still belong out there? Wow, oh, man, I skipped the last part. I'm so sorry. There it is, the door. Come on, Lamb Shank. There was a time where you where slowly, one by people left. There were no boards then, just a closed door. With the world outside growing further and further away. You didn't see them often. A few that remained with you, but you could hear them. Human sounds that hummed in the background when you least expected. You pull down one of the boards. Hush, Lamshank. The noise had been comforting. You weren't alone, but they didn't last forever. And over time faded into nothing. They must have left, taking their chances in the city falling around them. Anything better than staying here, being inside, trapped like a rat in a cage, every day planned out again and again and again until you pull down a second board. Lambshank, that's enough. You've never yelled at Lambshank before. Shame blooms deep in the pit of your stomach, but you can't look at him. Know that if you see the fear and the desperation in his eyes, you'll never leave. You pull down the final board. A beginning and an end. You think you've been the one to put them here. A reminder to never leave as the city siren song promised an escape. You lay in the hands of the door, palm against the cool thick wood. Lam Shank, you ready? He's trembling and uncontrollably, eyes darting around the room, so fast they roll into the back of his head. You pull the key from your pocket, fit it into the lock, turn the handle. Lamshank flashes forward, closing teeth. On your sleeve, with a vicious yank, he pulls you backwards, away from the door. Lamshank! Lamshank, what's going on? Every inch of his stretching skin looks like it's ready to fight. Lips peel back from inch-long teeth as the saliva drips from a maw 
gaping and possibly open wide enough to swallow anyone whole. I am shake. Knock, knock. No. Knock, knock, knock. It can't. Inside again. What happened? M. Shake runs to his abandoned food. The leftovers of leftovers that you'd serve still there, silent. Did it get to you too? Did everyone else hear the radio? Follow its lure to the door? M. Shank happily devours the food, ghostly tongue scraping the dregs from the bottom of the bowl. Thank you, Lam Shank. He jumps on the spot looking absurdly proud of himself. Really, I mean it. Hold your horses. Yeah, hold your horses. Nothing tonight, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe a week from now. You'll throw the radio from the rooftop, Lim Shank was right to be afraid. Can you just go back to this, in between life of fetch and half-consumed coffee? Is it really that easy? Nothing. You're not sure what you expected. used to the violent light beating from above. The creature seemed satisfied. If such a thing is possible. It's not rallying in the clouds, instead breathing slowly around the tips of the skyscrapers. The longest, softest breath that you've ever felt vibrate through your bones. Is this it? This is like a very story, poetically driven game, I guess. And I kind of like games that are like quick and to the point and have a deeper meaning like that. So this is really cool. Um, yeah. Looks like that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you've played this, let me know what you think. Um, I kind of enjoyed it. It was a really cool game. I always try to be on the lookout for like free to play like indie games because I find that there's a lot of hidden gems like this one. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good night, good day, whatever time of the day it is. Um, if it is day. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.